Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. You came here for the wrong reasons. Yes, you saw the thumbnail. But you're going to stay here for the right reasons, inshallah. So we're here with brother, what's your name? I'm Mike. For the Mike, first we'll time, Mike. Just... Ali, yeah? Now, brothers and sisters, we just want to clarify a few things, okay? I spoke to Mike. Actually, I wanted to speak to Mike the following week, yeah? Uh, because I truly wanted to understand, because I felt as if Mike had some sort of frustration, yeah? There was something that he was triggered by, and I wanted to know that. Now, it's easy for me to jump to assumptions. I could come and say, you know what? On that day, he behaved like this, or I may have behaved a certain way towards him as well, and I'm just going to judge him on that, and I'm going to close the chapter. No, I thought, let me understand. And that's why, if you remember, Mike, the following when I, week when I came, he was trying to have a go at Hartun for her rubbish as well. But I said to you, can I speak to you, yeah? So obviously you were still a bit maybe upset from the previous week, but tell us from your point of view what happened that day and maybe some things that you may want to share to why you was a little bit hostile. Right, so if, I don't know, can you hear me all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So first of all, yeah. I want to thank this brother here, yeah. right? And I call him a brother because at the end they were brothers yeah. um, for being a big man, for being a humble guy. Um, just for being himself um, and uh, approaching me last week. As he says, last week I had a different mission and, uh, and really that mission was actually influenced by the previous week because the previous week what happened, um, people basically said, oh, this guy is anti-Muslim, is anti-Islamic. And I say, wait, have you not seen me debating with the Christians before? So I thought, okay, if you haven't seen that, I'll come and show you. So that's why I then did, I came out for specifically for Hatun, who I actually, I'm just a person that don't like bullies. Um, and I've seen her do certain things and I thought, nah, I'm not gonna yeah. endorse this. Yeah. And as they say, silence is violence. Yeah. So I thought, I'm gonna just go and I'm gonna speak even louder than I did when I was with you. Mm -hmm. So basically, now he approached me last week, so I was on a different mission and I was still had lingering, lingering feelings from our previous interaction. Not because of him, because I'm not going to hold anger against him. And at the end of our discussion, I shook his hand, put my hand on him like that, and for me it was done. But when I was getting certain feedback from obviously people supporting him, if you want to put it like that, who were coming at me with negativity. Someone said that they would slap you, which I didn't hear. No, but I will explain okay, all okay. that. So people were coming at me with negativity after that. Yeah. That made me in a position where, although I spoke with Ali last week, the, the second week, yes. I didn't really want to engage. Yeah. So I give you credit, obviously, for approaching me. And I'll also agree with you and be honest that I didn't want to engage at that time. Okay, yeah. I just put my hands up on that. Yeah. Now, in terms of what happened on the day, I will explain. Number one, there was something that happened on the day, literally minutes before the video with Ali started that was not included in that video. And there were also things from my personal life and my experience that made me resentful, suspicious, and let's say have a low patience of, I wouldn't even say Muslims, more like situations where I see maybe Arabs are picking on yeah. someone from my race. Yeah. So automatically I was in a position where I wanted to, I wanted to fight. Yeah, 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 do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then that came and involved itself with Ali, yeah. which had nothing to do with Ali really. Yeah. But Ali was just coming in. He didn't see what happened. Yeah. And, um, and that's where it was. So you can yeah. ask me what happened because I've been speaking for a while long. No, no, time. no. It's, you know, you know what it is, Mike. Yeah. What you say, I can relate to because you know why. Let me just take my grass off so we can have eye to eye yeah. contact. Me personally, Mike. When I since I came to Islam, there is no one so that you has. Born a Muslim. I wasn't born a Muslim. Well, what in the religion you, we believe you? it. Oh, right, yeah, okay. But I was. My dad's agnostic. My mom's. She believes. She's then Alawi. They're a little sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No bad. I always believed in a higher power. I believe, always believed in God. But since I came to Islam, there is no one that has made me suffer as much as the Muslims. Now, you might be thinking, what do you mean by that? Look, we know we have certain enemies, the far right, some extreme Shias, not all, um, Ahmadis, um, 
uh, Zionists, um, you name it. We have a lot of enemies. And I expect from them, because it's your enemy. You know what to expect from your enemy. Expect, yeah. But when you get hit from the back, it hurts more. Because you're expecting it from the front. When somebody comes and hits you from the back, it hurts more. So to me, when it came to marriage, I suffered racism. I was rejected based on not being a specific culture. And these are Muslims. These are Muslims that are saying no to me. And I'm saying to them, look, I'm a Muslim as well. No, but you're not from our background. So I've been beaten in that way, not literally, many times. Even in this very park, I've been oppressed by certain Muslims, yeah, who come here, name call, um, do a variety of other stuff. So I have seen it. So I know where you're coming from to a point where if I, if there was any reason if I was to leave Islam, it would never be because of the Quran or a Hadith, it would be because of Muslims. I'll make that very clear. It's not a reason to, but we are human beings, we're emotional. Yeah, we're human beings. If you beings. continuously, I'll be honest with you, if I continuously get bullied by the Mexicans, I'm going to have be apprehensive towards Mexicans. I'm not going to have tolerance towards Mexicans. I have to be real. I don't give a damn. Allah says in the Quran, speak the truth, even if it's against yourself or your kin. You know what that means? That means if I know my friend came and my friend is my Muslim brother, let's say, and I've spent, I know him for 20 years. If I know he's wronged you, I will tell him, brother, you're wrong. I don't care if I know you. I don't care if you're my Muslim brother. I don't care if my mom and my family know you. You are wrong because this is justice and we need to uphold justice. So when you came to me and when I saw that, obviously I didn't know the full picture and I have to blame myself because at the end of the day, I came shouting as well, if you remember. Yeah, I, was, you came, you came yeah, I came shouting, you came if you remember. Do you so get what, it? what happened is this, let me just speak quickly. Um, and there is a video of yeah. the entire incident. Yes. So what happened was Lamin, yes. who I'm gonna apologize to as well yeah. because I disrespected him. Yeah. I called him names. Yeah. Um, Lamin yeah. was debating um, another man yeah. who's like Jamaican. Yeah. Um, he was not the most, he was not the, the he doesn't speak like you, for yeah. example. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't even speak like me. Yeah. He was struggling to actually speak words, yeah. let alone to speak his opinion. Yes. Um, he had a bit of a stutter. Yeah. And what I saw from standing and watching them, it was yeah. never my plan to get involved. Yeah. I didn't come there to, oh, I'm. Yeah. I'm oh, you saw, of, you saw Muslims bullying him. Yeah, I came yes. and there was two black people yeah. surrounded by a, a number of people, a yeah. group of Muslims, yeah. and a lot of them were Arab people. Yeah. I, I'm just guessing because yes, yes. they look like Arabs. Yeah. And what I saw was from me standing in the crowd yeah. and people not knowing yeah. that I wasn't an Arab, people yeah. thinking that I was one of them. Yeah. We're all one and the same, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But people, I heard people mocking him. Yeah. So while he's trying to, Lamine asked him a question, He's trying to speak. They're shouting him down. Mm. They're not letting him speak. That was yeah. number one. Yeah. Number two, when he started speaking, he was stuttering. Okay. And people started mocking. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Like, and I'm thinking, what is this? Like, yeah. do, you, do you understand? Mm. And then number three, they started mocking his accent. Mm. So those three things together. Yeah, you. you could see the video. I'm like this. Yeah. Like. Because I'm not going to lie, yeah. I've, I've defended people from all backgrounds. You told me about incident in... in yeah. Don't want to say where okay, it was, okay, okay, okay. but I've... Def Listen, yeah. it, I don't need to... People know me. A yeah. lot of Muslims yeah. know me. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of Muslims in London know me. Yeah. I have Muslim family, Muslim friends. Yeah. When I was on the street, I got a lot... They call me gangster. I got a lot of Muslim people that know me. Yeah. And they know what I'm like. I defend... That's just who I am. Yeah. But... Same way you would de you would defend a Muslim if they were being bullied. Yeah. Same way you would defend anybody, yeah. but especially a Muslim if yeah. they were being bullied by by other people. Yeah. It's the same way. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. I cannot change my skin. Yeah. Yeah. I am what I am. Yeah. Even if I said, "Oh, I am whatever," I'm still going to be what yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 So when I'm there and I'm watching a black man being bullied yeah. and he cannot defend himself. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, I'm like this. And then the next minute, I didn't even plan it. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I just stepped in. Yeah. And I straight away, I said, listen, bro, stop. You don't need to keep talking. Yeah. Because you, basically, people are bullying you. You don't need to keep trying to justify yourself. Yeah. Let the man who is grilling you yeah. justify himself. Yeah. Because right now, as far as I'm concerned, mm. what I said, he's a black man performing 
for an audience of Arabs yeah. and he's bullying another black man. Mm -hmm. Those are my words. That, yeah, that's how so it's what you then came in, at that point there was a commotion yes. and then you came in not knowing yes. what had happened Which and you invited fault. me yeah. to come over. That's, yeah. that's definitely your fault because yeah, yeah, you could have yeah. asked me yeah, I'm sorry, what's yeah. going on. I apologise for that. Yeah. So from there me and you went into another discussion. We went into another discussion but that discussion we moved from one location yeah. We moved to another location. Yeah. By the time your camera people set up the camera, yeah, yeah. by the time they put the mic on me, yeah, yeah. They had no five minutes had yeah. gone. Yeah. So five minutes physically, I'm not like, ah, anymore. Yeah. But inside of me, I'm still steaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still steaming. Yeah. So physically, I'm not angry no more, yeah. but in, psychologically, I'm still heated. Yeah. So as soon as we started, mm. I just carried on yeah. from where I left off. Yes. But you did not, this is the disconnect, you did not carry on from there. Yeah, 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 you yeah. were on a complete different yeah, yeah, yeah. wavelength. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I had a lot of hostility. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to lie, yeah, yeah, hostility yeah, yeah. in yeah. that moment because yeah. I was burning yeah. because of what had happened. Yeah. Now, why was that burning because of what had happened? Exactly like you said, I'm not going to go into details, yeah. but I've had my experiences mm. of deep racism yeah. with yeah. people, yeah, yeah. I would say, from yeah. a specific yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, region. Yeah, and you're probably right. Region, yeah. that, and, and that made me have that hostility, and that's what made me in that moment react the way I did. No, no, man. So I want to apologize to you. Yeah, no, I'm like sorry, I, I already apologized to you yeah, off yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to apologize so as well. I want to yeah. apologize to Ali in yeah. front of everyone yeah. for, yeah. number one, coming at him with hostility that had nothing to do with him, because yeah. this guy didn't do nothing to me. Mm -hmm. He was, the only mistake he made, he didn't ask what was going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I want to apologise yeah. sincerely I did, to I did Ali. also come and shout as well, which, yeah, may have, yeah, yeah. which may have left a bad taste in your mouth about me. No, 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 I ain't yeah. even going to lie. Yeah. I just, I, if I have to be honest, yeah, yeah. I just thought you was their captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I made an assumption, yeah, 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 yeah. I made a stereotype. Yeah, yeah. I thought you was that. It's not even bad, it don't matter where you come from, that's yeah, not the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying, I just thought these people yeah. that were doing that, yeah. were doing that because you're encouraging that. I made a lot of stereotypes. I'm totally I made a lot of stereotypes. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally against that. So in that moment, when we was actually debating, whatever, we were having a conversation. Yeah. I didn't even really want to debate because yeah. I was just like, more like, I was just continuing the argument. Yeah, yeah. So when, at some point, someone, you, you, gave, me a, you gave me an example yeah. as to why Christianity and Judaism did not come before Islam. Yes, yes, yes. And then I reacted by saying, are you dumb? Yeah, I yeah. said that. Yeah. Straight away, someone is like, why are you talking, just slap him. Like, yeah, I didn't hear that, by the way. I didn't hear cool. that. If you see the video, yeah, you can yeah, see the, yeah. how it I went. I didn't, I know you, you didn't yeah, hear yeah, yeah. it. But you can Otherwise, see I would correct it, yeah. You, I just want to correct certain yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because, I think that's when you said, touch me. Yeah, and then yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, and I said the wrong word. And I was like, don't tell me that S-H-I-T. I said that straight away. And then I was like, I wish someone would touch me. Okay. Because at that point, from when that was said to me, it became a different thing. Ali, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. From that point, there was no yeah. more conversation. Yes, yes, yes. It became like, I wish someone would touch yes, me. Yes, yes, And then we can just have a party yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, unfortunately. Yeah. And then during that, I said, oh, this is my city. Obviously, listen, yeah, I'll yeah. tell the camera, I don't know Jack, I don't know nothing yeah, in this yeah. city. Yeah. So this ain't my city in that sense. All yeah. I mean is, if someone's going to hit me yeah, in this city, consequences. I'm not going to walk yeah, away exactly. from it. That's all I mean. 100%. So. Without longing it out, I just want to apologize yeah. again to Ali. No, it's okay, no. I want to apologize to everybody. Yeah. I want to apologize to all the Muslims for coming across in that way yeah. because that was not my intention. Yeah, yeah. No, and as I say, I've got Muslims in my family yeah. that have spoken to me and they said, look, this behavior mm -hmm. is not what we raised you like. Mm -hmm. It's not what we expect of you, yeah, yeah. right? I explained to them why it happened yeah. and they said, look, we know you and the truth is this happened because of resentment you develop of what has happened to you in the past. That's sad though. Right? Yeah. And, and it's true. So I just want to apologise to Ali. No, no, 100%. I want to apologise to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's all I can say oh, at the thank moment. You, Mike. I apologise you know I mean? as well because at the end of the day, you know, sometimes we do come to the park and we have this, like, because it's chaos here. You know, stuff happened. We have pre-assumptions as well. We're, we're thinking, okay, that person shouting, he must hate Islam. And it's not yeah. always the case. So I did come shouting back at you when he was having your first argument, which I do believe left the bad taste in your mouth. You thought I was the leader, etc. I'm against that kind of attitude of taking the mick out of someone because they're stuttering. But anyways, look, I really appreciate your humbleness that you've come and apologise. And I apologise as well if we've wronged you. But I do really relate with the stuff that you shared with me Can I just camera. mention something quickly sure. before you go ahead? Sorry, bro. Sure, sure. Now, on the subject of shouting, and I explained, because last week there was another brother, yeah. Muslim guy, that wanted to fight me because he said I was shouting yeah. and by me shouting I'm being disrespectful yeah. to the Muslims. Yeah. And the way I always go away is I, I do something 
or I'm involved in something. And then later on when I calm down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I start to break it down. Like, why did that guy say that? Yeah. It's not because in the moment when he said it, I said, come on then, let's, yeah, yeah. let's go for it. Yeah. I was all... But later on, I, it was bugging me. I said, why did he actually say that sentence? Mm -hmm. And I realised, look, I speak loud. It's how I yeah, speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because of my background. I'm Nigerian, yeah, yeah. right? I'm raised in Nigeria, and this is how we communicate, yeah. especially if we're having a debate. It's not because we hate you. It's not because we are aggressive. Yeah, it's, like that. it's just that we yeah, want to yeah. show you that we really believe yeah, what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I'm speaking loud, it's the brother passion, said, why passion. are you passion? The guys, well, why are you shouting so much you're being disrespectful? <laughs> I'm not being disrespectful. There's no bone in me that is yeah. disrespectful or yeah, hates yeah. anybody. Yeah. As soon as I left you, it went out the window yeah, yeah. in terms of like deep anger. Obviously, when I started getting threats or in person, online, then it, that, that keeps in me a certain energy that yeah. I am in fighting mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but unfortunately, yeah. it's just something I want us to be an example to everybody. 100%. To show 100%. that, you know, 100%. we and lead with love. No, no, exactly. We exactly. lead with love. You know, and just I will end on this, that, you know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, I only came to perfect good character. And this is why I tell you, one of the, the biggest enemies to Islam are Muslims. I always say this and I'll say it again, because our attitude and how we deal with people, sadly, it causes people to have resentment. I'm not saying all the time, but sadly, as Muslims, the way we conduct ourselves can be arrogant, can be dismissive, can be like in a certain way where it leaves the base bad taste. If I was not a Muslim and I went through what I went through, bro, I'll be honest with you, man, I would have a bad resentment towards Muslims. This is not correct, but it just shows us that how individual, all of us have a responsibility. And I'll just end on that note, brothers and sisters, inshallah, everybody, subhanAllah, look, if somebody owns up to their mistake, that is a big thing to me, do you get what I'm trying to say? And we should all learn from that. And with all this deafness and this nonsense, whatever it may be, we should stop this kind of attitude and learn from one another and take this video, inshallah, as a reminder for us to fix up because we have emotional impact on individuals, how we treat them. So inshallah, that's it, Mike, thank you, man. It's a pleasure. We're, we're always going to have a relationship. I always do. Look after yourself. Um, it was a pleasure, man. I really, yeah, really yeah, appreciate bro. it. And brothers and sisters, hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it because I think so people can now understand the context, what exactly happened, why it happened, and we can learn from that, inshallah. And we'll probably see more of Mike on Salam Corner. Until um, next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.